Hey there guys, today um, I'm having another bottle of Bell's Hop Slam. I thought that uh, I'd review the beer again because I've obviously reviewed yesterday next to high res, but having a six pack on, you know, I wanted to try to review it again individually. Uh, I think it's very important that you um, are looking for what you want when you review beers. Um, I hear a lot of people, you know, being quote unquote what I think are snobs saying like, you know, comp tasting is completely uh, subjective, you know, reviews are nonsense, don't listen to, you know, uh, reviews or lists and stuff. And I don't think that's true. I think uh, when you listen to reviews, you're going to generally find beers that are better than other beers. It's not a promise, but it's higher probability. And that's what I usually look for. You can't always drink every beer you can in the world. So uh, I usually use uh, got, uh, reviews as a reference to um, look for beers that I might like. And I w won't obviously always like those beers, but I think it's uh, if I'm going to spend money on a beer, I hopefully will like it. I'm more likely to like those beers, though I'm definitely going to be honest and give my personal opinions. And if I don't like them, I'm not going to say I don't I don't like them. So, and going along with that, um, you know, some people say you can't even taste a beer with two ounces, and that's just not true. You know, you put a you know a heady topper next to a Bud Light and with two ounces, you can tell. And with two ounces, I think you can generally pick out style, hops, uh, malt body, look for AVV, and all these cool things. And so you're always looking for certain things for tasting beer so uh just be honest with yourself um you know uh be objective again look f uh, really work on your palate i think is a really great thing in a craft beer community you know don't just you know drink beers because you think they're good or people say they're good drink beers because you objectively have tasted beers and have grown your palate to really look for notes and really can decide for yourself what is a, what a great beer is so uh, i'm gonna dig into this so yeah let's, uh, Look for this. Uh, this is a really awesome, like slightly hazy, golden amber, deep, deep, deep orange golden amber. So yeah, let's get it on my nose. <sighs> yeah, I mean, as it warms up, the uh, aroma gets a bit better, but this is a very aromatically uh, challenged beer. Um, I'm getting pineapple, some mangoes, sweet grapefruit, <sighs> malt, that light malt, a bit of resinous, but. Again, f like cold, this is t smells like nothing. And um, for like a hugely hyped, uh, you know, apparently heavy, heavily dry hop beer, this beer does not have much aroma. I've heard of this multiple complaints about this beer. This beer is really aromatically challenged for, you know, a hype beer. This is one of the, 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 the lowest aroma beers I've ever smelled in my life. I mean, I've, 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 I actually, for the first time smelling a beer, it was like blown away that I couldn't smell anything. I literally just like, looked around my room looking for things to smell. You know, I picked up some clean laundry, picked up some things like, is there something wrong with my nose? Cause I just had dinner, I had a spicy meal. I wasn't quite sure if I was going crazy or something, but this beer again, is just aromatically challenged. The huge attractor of this beer. But let's get the flavor on this. Yep. In the front, again, those sweet tropical fruits. Um, it's again, sort of like a pineapple juice uh, bitter pineapple juice, um, uh, or sour pineapple juice, bitter uh, grapefruit, grapefruit peel, um, grapefruit peel in the front, and then moving on to some grapefruit juice, a nice amount of sweetness, tinges of honey. I will not say that this beer is obviously a honey, a honey added beer. If you're not looking for it and you just have this beer blind, I don't, I'm not quite sure you'll be able to pick it out. It might just be melded into a flavor of, you know, caramel malt. It tastes like caramel malt, right? Um, but yeah, if you look for it, you'll definitely taste it. It tinges. And then had and then you have the caramel malt on the finish you're getting um again grapefruit peel piney dankness resin and then what i get, uh generally get with this like uh, bitterness of this beer it's a bitter beer throughout is this like floral earthiness and resinous um herbaceous character spicy and herbaceous sort of like uh, some more traditional older American hops and not the new ones not the citrus but you know pushing back towards you know uh chinook centennial uh, golding, you know, something, a bittering hop that it just has that kind of earthiness, spiciness, floralness. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, yeah, I mean, this is an older recipe. Uh, this, I think this beer was around, first reviewed on Beer Arcade around 2004. So this is an older recipe, and I assume they're using older hops in this beer. But yeah, there's this like note of, um, again, like almost eating a potpourri, this herbaceousness, herbal characters, you know, greenness uh, that I'm getting along with the fruit flavors. Not a hugely hot forward beer, nice amount of brandy malt in there, but yeah, I mean, again, it's a great beer. I won't say it's an amazing beer, and I will say it's an overly hyped beer, but 
still well made. Highs the alcohol pretty well. You're getting tinges of alcohol in the middle, but it warms throughout mostly. So it's not a hugely an alcohol bomb. Um, but yeah, in general, I do, generally do like my IPAs or double IPAs around eight, nine percent. I don't really think they need to, to head towards a 10 percent ABV. But um, yeah, with my review, I'm going to give this beer a 90. So, um, you know, not a huge surprising beer for me, just a well-made, well-crafted beer. I'm slowly liking it more, I guess, uh, as I drink it, but it still has its uh, uh, issues. But let me know what you guys think. Actually, I've never had the old uh, 13 or older batches than that. So let me think. Uh, let me know what you think about uh, how this compares. Until next time, guys, this is Hop Slam, this is Darwin. Uh, cheers, and later.